one mom says she's afraid to bring her son after she says what happened on his first day of kindergarten. Now she wants answers. And the scratch marks from scratching. These marks on his own, on on his own. Joylyn Kenner of Laplace says after his first day of school, her five-year-old son Kayvon came home really frightened, itching and scratching all over, covered in what appeared to be hives. Worried, she took him to the hospital. Yeah, they said they say he had a viral rash from a viral infection. And at that point, I knew it was the school because he's he's never had that before, and it started when he went to school. He attends East St. John Elementary School, located temporarily at Leon Gotchow School in Reserve, after a fire back in August displaced hundreds of students at the old campus in Laplace. Kenner says her son isn't the only child who suffered. I would say a lot, about 15 or 20 at the most. She took her complaint to the St. John Parish School Board, where she says she learned that environmental specialists had been at the school. Some of the workers say that some of the kids had asthma. They've been complaining about asthma since they've been going, so I guess they got a, a certain amount of complaints to where they wanted to investigate and get the environmental specialists in the school. In a written statement, the school system tells WDSU we are aware of the parent concerns. Right now, there is nothing to indicate that the campus is not safe. We are continuing to investigate, and as soon as we have more information, we will make it available. Until then, Kenner says she's not taking any chances. She's homeschooling her son for now until the school system does its homework. So they need to do something, find out what's going on, cancel the classes until they do. But I'm not sending my ass back over there to get, keep getting ate up. And Kenner says she's not only concerned about her son, but other children here as well. And many of our questions regarding the number of complaints, how many children have been affected, and what, if anything, is being done haven't been answered. On your side, live in reserve, Latanya Norton, WDSU News. And Leon Godchow School also served as a temporary site of East St. John High School following Hurricane Isaac.